Hello, I'm Peter Cleland from Bar Crusher Boats. Today we're going to walk you through a review of one of our most popular models, the 560C. We've had lots of customer feedback giving us ideas on how to improve the boats, how to make them more functional, improve the layout and design. We've put a lot of new ideas into our 560 over the years and today we're going to walk you through some of those special things that we've done. One thing people always love about the Bar Crusher Boats is a nice big hatch, very easy to get through. If we look at the front of the boat and our anchoring setup, let me describe it for you. We've got the bowsprit out the front of the boat with the Sarka anchor, which firmly pulls up into that bowsprit. If you have an anchor winch, you simply hit the switch on the dash and you can put your anchor up or down. One of the things we put a lot of time into at Bar Crusher Boats is trying to ensure that the cockpit layout and the seating arrangement, the way you stand, the way the boat feels to fish out of, we like to make sure it works really well. Firstly, we'll have a look at the seating. If you have a look at the seats here, we use a a nice shell seat there that's easy to clean, comfortable with good, good upholstery. We use a nice sturdy box underneath. In the bases of the seat box we've got removable tackle boxes so you can keep all your basic tackle in the boat. They can be hosed so that they stay dry. And when you sit on the seat, it's comfortable to sit back and watch your rods. If you need to spin the seat around, you can comfortably stand in front of the seat to drive the boat. Put your legs apart a little bit to brace yourself should you be going through rougher conditions. In the new 560 we've widened the dash so you've got more room for electronics. You can see here we've got a HDS7 low end sounder on the left hand side. We have a VHF radio with our gauges across the top here. Your taco, your speedo, your tilt and trim and your fuel. Underneath here if the winch is fitted to the boat you've got your, uh, your winch switch. Down here your mic for your radio. Over on the right hand side this one has trim tabs fitted which are an option on all bar crusher boats. Now let's have a look at the business end of the boat. At the end of the day, a fishing boat, all the action happens in the cockpit. Let's have a look at the sides of the boat. Firstly, cockpit side pocket. If we look down here, plenty of room to store your gaff, your nets, your knife, all the things you want close at hand when you're fishing throughout the day. If we go up here and look at the combing area of the boat, when you're standing at the side of a boat, very important that there's enough depth in the boat and that the combing hits you in the thigh just the right height. Very important test to do when you hop in a boat. If we have a look at the side decks here, nice and wide. Often people spend their time when they're fishing sitting on the side of a boat. And if you've got nice wide side decks without any of that nasty extrusion poking you in your bum, um, very comfortable to sit around the boat. Also increases the area inside the cockpit because people can sit around the edge of the boat rather than huddle in the middle. Of course you need plenty of rod storage in the, in the back of a boat. We've got cast aluminium rod holders here which are very strong, we've been very happy with them. Uh, we've got them on different angles, so you can set up your uh, snapper racks if you want to. You can have those made to fit in the rod holders. You can see we've got some non-slick pads here, so that you can stand up here if you need to get your rods off the top of the boat. If we look in the side combings here, we've got low current draw LED Heller lighting. Heller probably makes some of the best lighting out there, and we use it throughout the boats. We use it for navigation lights, we use it in the, in the cockpit lighting here, in the cabin light, and also for the anchor light. Gives you great life, no globes to replace, fantastic stuff. Something we've found really handy in the back of our boats is the folding rear seat. If you want to plonk a couple of kids in the back here where you're travelling to and from your fishing area, fantastic. Anybody setting up a serious fishing boat these days wouldn't consider going out there offshore, coastal bay fishing with one battery. If that battery fails, you're going to struggle to start your engine. In all bar crushes, they come with a dual battery setup ready to go straight out of the factory. You can see here you've got your two batteries, you've got your, your wiring and switching here, so you can isolate your batteries if you want to isolate one or the other. Um, fantastic system, gives you extra security and reliability on the water. Of course, the bait board's something that's very important in a fishing boat. You need a good area where you can fillet fish, where you can cut up your bait. Here you can put a rod in the bait board rod holder there. You can have your sinker on here, you can bait up your hook, pull it out, throw it all over the side. Once this starts to get a bit, uh, bit scratched, you can pull it out and replace it, put a fresh piece in. There's a drain, goes into your burly bucket. So if you get a little bit pool of muck here, it goes out and into your burly bucket into the water. In the transom here, we've got a live bait tank built in. Simply undo the bungee loops, put your live bait straight in. We've got an inlet tap, which lets water into the live bait tank and drain holes at the back here. So a little pump in the sump, pumps water up, keeps that nicely oxygenated, keeps your live bait in tip-top condition. One of the really unique features of this boat 
is the water ballast cavity. How it works is, a little bit of water runs into the hull, reduces the buoyancy of the hull just a bit, drops the hull down onto its chine so it settles down so much and gives the boat extra stability at rest. As soon as you take off, you put the throttle down, the nose lifts, the boat moves forward, the water dumps almost immediately and you're up and planing. All you'd know about this system is that it gives you great stability at rest, allows us to build more V into the hull, which gives you a much better cut through wind chop. The boat gives great performance as a result of this design. One of the very important parts of any trailer boat that's outboard driven is the outboard motor. All the brands out there today are good and they all work well. This particular boat, this 560 here, is fitted up with a Suzuki DF140. It's an inline four cylinder engine, it pushes this boat very nicely. This boat's rated with a horsepower rating between 115 and a max of 150 and there's a number of options out there in two stroke and four stroke. It just depends what you're doing, what your use is going to be. The idea is to talk to your dealer, talk to the salespeople in the yards, get some feedback, talk to mates uh, and, uh, and see, uh, see which way you want to go. This Suzuki has some special features that we particularly like. One is the offset power head. They put a, a second stage reduction in the gearing under the power head and move the weight forward a little bit closer to the transom, which gives it, gives it a particularly nice feel on the back of the boat. We're happy with this one, does a great job. One of the really important things that is often forgotten when people are buying a boat package is the trailer. Often you'll see trailers where people are really struggling to get their boat on or off the trailer. At Bar Crusher we've put a hell of a lot of time and effort into making sure that the trailer is not only um, a, a good quality trailer made from good quality componentry, but the design and setup of the frame, of the rollers, of the skids, of everything, works really well to ensure the boat drives on and drives off very easily. I'll run you through some of those features and the benefits they provide. If we look under the trailer here, I'll point out some things that make this trailer a particularly good fit for the boat and a particularly easy trailer to use. We've got a full ladder of keel rollers up the middle. This gives the boat, the keel line of the boat, plenty of support. We've also got guides or skids which sit off the hull and allow the boat hull to slide down into those keel rollers no matter where you put the boat on the trailer. Very, very important. Many trailers only have the odd roller and it's very difficult to get the boat to line up and go onto the trailer where it should sit. You can also see here we've got wobble rollers at the bow and stern which keep your boat level on the trailer. So this trailer, if you run your boat on pretty well any old how, if you get that nose near the back of the trailer, it'll, it'll find its own level, it'll self-align, self-level and hit the winch post every time. And that's what you want. That's what a good trailer does for you when you're launching and retrieving. At Bar Crusher, we like to partner with many of our suppliers and Easy Tow Boat Trailers has worked with us to come up with this trailer design with some special features and just to ensure that the trailer works really well under the boats. One thing we love to do on our trailers is always supply an aluminium mag wheel. They look great, um, durable, no paint to peel off, terrific. Plastic guards, again very durable, um, better than the metal guards which if you bump them they can bend and stay bent and the gel can peel off. So durable plastic guards and mag wheels we put on every trailer we put out the door.